make sure we're masked uh, as I'm around close quarters. Uh, I mean, a lot of guys have been healthy, so I mean, it's, it's great. It's, it's kind of rare because you know you see, like you said, the constant cancellations around the whole country. I mean, we came back pretty healthy, so we're ready to play. Jerome, you, you said, and the three of the guys that came out here could have left. This this year, uh, you're returning next year, all three of y'all announced that. What does it say that some of the best players want to come back another year? I, I, I would say it has to do with the staff, the culture, uh, the locker room, uh, just playing with our brothers again, uh, our teammates. You know, um, you know, I've been I've been a part of some, you know, some rough times you know, since I've been here, but uh, man, this it's a, we have a bright future ahead of us. And it, it's just a lot of things we can do. Does that make the bowl feel different? Because you're going to run all this back again next year. You're not saying goodbye to the program. Um, yeah, you can say that. Uh, it's just more. Uh, we have. It's like a statement game. If that makes sense, you know. Uh, we have to show what we can do, uh, especially just with this offense and uh, just the team that we're playing. We're playing against a really good Big Ten team, so uh, it's a it's a statement game. What was your reaction when when Hendon and Cedric both said they're coming back? Obviously, two big pieces for you guys. Yeah, you, you know, we kind of we kind of recruiting them, you know, <laughs> type getting in that ear. Uh, but man, it was, it was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was excited. Every, you know, everyone was trying to get them to stay. And once the news came out, man, it was wonderful. So uh, just the type of player those, those guys are, they can take us to new heights. So you're taking credit for them coming back, right? Uh, not me personally, but I'll say the entire team, but most definitely. Sorry if this is, sorry, if this has already been asked before, but seeing what you guys have accomplished this year, how important is it to finish off the right way, especially with guys like you coming back? Oh, it's, it's huge. It'll be huge for us. Just sending the seniors off right, uh, the guys that are leaving, uh, especially like guys like Matt Butler, Cade, uh, Theo Jackson, like seeing those, making those, those guys' career end well. Um, and just like you said, just the, the, the it's just like a new beginning, you know, with this staff and just the continuous of greatness and success with this offense and this uh, whole team in general. So it's a big game. Have there been any young guys that have gotten the extra reps with the bowl practices that you've been impressed with and, and their ex expanded opportunity? Uh, most definitely. Uh, bowl practices are huge for young guys. Uh, and I would say uh, more guys that get a chance to get more playing time, uh, I would say names like J.J. Crawford, uh, Dame Davis have uh, really taken the opportunity to get better uh, at these bowl practices. Uh, some guys, in the, uh, just seeing, the, actually seeing like the new freshmen come in, you know, that's, that's kind of weird to me. And uh, just seeing the young guys, uh, man, they, they're, they're froggy, you know, they're <laughs> ready to rock and roll, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's good seeing those guys out there. We'll, we'll see what Kate does, but you, with you coming back, that's four starters back on the offensive line. How excited are you guys to finally maybe build some continuity over an offseason? Yeah, that's guys? huge. That's huge. Uh, you know, we're still in Kay's year, too, you know. Um, man, uh, it'll be great. It'll be great if we can come back. But, um, yeah, but having, having four out of five starters is, is key to just the success of the offense as well. What about playing in an NFL stadium? How much does that resonate with you guys? Um, we haven't really thought about it too much. Uh, I know I have. I played in my freshman year, the first game. You know, I guess uh, it was a kick, uh, college kickoff game yeah. in Carolina. So um, I don't really think about it too much. You know, it's, hey, we'll play anywhere. You know, anything with the field, with lines, we're good. So. A couple more guys. Pretty stealth defense. What stands out about that front seven and why they've been so successful? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, like I was saying earlier, this man, the, the defensive front is they're good, uh, especially with uh, five. I know he's not playing, but that defense creates a lot of havoc, a lot of pressure, especially in the passing game. Uh, they're good at stopping the run too, as well. So uh, it's very big to protect the quarterback, uh, be able to get spin plays, and I know Hendon will do that. Uh, and just be able to run the ball. We got to run the ball. Against them, so. What about question. all the fans that you expect to have packing the Sun Stadium? Oh yeah, we want we want to turn these say horns. Uh, it'll be a big, it's, it's like a home game for us, so we, and we're going to treat it as such. Hopefully, uh, fans come around here rocking uh, and give Purdue a, a hard time playing. Thanks, Jerome. Thanks. Thanks.